2001 Porsche 911 Cabriolet. So this is the 3.4 Carrera 2 model. As you can see, it's finished in silver. I'm just gonna briefly walk around the whole car to start with, because I just wanna show you that even in this nice bright light, every panel's the same color silver. There's no dodgy color match. Quite often with stuff like this, you see that a bumper's been painted or a door's been painted, and the color match is awful. Uh, but as you can see, all one color silver. No funny bad matching or anything like that. Lovely and tidy. So nice bright silver. It's got the blue interior blue roof. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this front bumper corner, you can see that's all nice and clean going down there. Got a tiny little stone chip just there on the corner of the light. Coming down this wing, you've got a very light, and we've been really picky here, very light scratch just there. I would be amazed if that didn't polish off. It's got the 18 inch Porsche twist wheels on it um, with what looks to be good tires all around. So you can see they're in lovely condition. They've not been messed with or painted. They're just the correct silver. Uh, all the calipers are nice and clean as well behind there. If we look down the driver's side, you can see nice and straight. It's not full of ripples or anything like that. Going along that sill on this side, it's all nice and clean. Got a little bit of a mark just here. Wing mirror is nice and clean on this side. We've got a little scuff just, just there, but again, I'll be amazed if that doesn't polish off. In fact, it's coming off while I'm rubbing it, so that will polish off. Arch on the rear, lovely and solid all the way around. Quite often you get a bit of a bubble of rust or something coming through here, but there's nothing to show there. And again, if we look up this side again, nice and straight. All the glass on this side is nice and clear. A pillar is tidy. We've got one very small stone chip just there. Uh, and another very small one just on the top of the window frame as well. The roof, you could do with a good clean. It's obviously been pressure washed, but it's you could do with a good clean. It's Meguiar's do a um, roof restoration kit. So it's a shampoo, a cleaner, and a sealer. It's about 20 quid from Halvers, and it does the best job I think we've ever used. So that's what that one's for a start. It looks so much better. No sign of any sort of rips or tears or anything like that. It was pressure washed when it got to us. It's not letting any water in or anything like that. It's not letting any moisture in. Coming around onto the back, both rear bumper corners. Nice and straight, no sign of any marks. We've got a bit of a mark just here on the uh, on the plate recess. Both exhausts sit nice and straight and level. It's got the correct Carrera badge. It doesn't have a crack in the seat, which is pretty rare. Normally they've got a crack somewhere from a sponge clipping it or something like that. Both rear tail lights, nice and bright. No sign of any moisture or anything like that. And along this deck lid. Lovely and clean, there's no real signs of any marks at all there. The plastic window on the back is all nice and clean. Just giving it a wipe down, it's not letting any moisture in or anything like that. Again, the car was pressure washed, like I say, we always check these things. Um, but no, the stitching's all nice. It's not dried out, it's not perished, anything like that. Looking down this side of the car again, nice and straight. It's rear bumper, nice and clean. Nice solid arch as well. Again, the wheels on this side, the, the wheels are really good. They've not been rammed up a curb or anything like that. P0s all round, I believe. No, we haven't. We've got P0s on the back and then matching Dunlops on the front. Um, but they are matching across the axle. Coming down this side of the car, it's all nice and tidy. Up this A pillar again, there's no real signs of any stone chips. Glass is all nice and clear, there's no marks around the handles. Wing mirrors are nice and clean as well. And this arch on the front, lovely and tidy. Coming around on the front, headlights are nice and clear. They normally need polished on a 996, but these ones are good. And as far as stone chips and things are concerned, we've got a little bit of a lacquer peel in the uh, in the bumper there. The car's got a little bit of moisture on it just from us washing it earlier on, but it's, there's a little mark here or there. So there's one on the bumper there as well. Uh, and it's missing the little plastic grommet that goes over the tow eye cover. But as far as stone chips go, we've got one little one there, little one there. That's about it. It's a light sort of scuff in the on the bonnet here, which you can just see. But again, I would be amazed if that didn't polish out. Tops of the wings and the bonnet on this on both sides, nice and tidy. We've got one little stone chip just at the back there. But overall, the age of the car, pretty good. I mean. It's, 21 years old now. Moving into the interior. And again, you've got this sort of dark blue, sort of similar to the roof. Driver's seat's got a tiny little bit of wear on the bolster. 
but nothing major the seat's still nice and comfy it's all nice and firm not really shiny or anything like that carpet sets nice and clean it's not ingrained with dirt back seats again it's a pretty normal case on an i11 they don't look they've been used hardly at all no sign of anywhere there at all the underside of the hood it's lovely and clean there's no funny smells like i said there's no sign of any moisture getting in here steering wheels nice and tidy as is the gear stick and the uh, handbrake if we double check on here so it's 58,607 miles so for a 911 i'd call that low mileage these things eat up the miles better than any other supercar which is why everyone tends to go for these as daily drivers hit the passenger side all the windows drop as they should as well which is nice quite often on the on the cabs it can be a bit slow and they'll catch on this lip but this one's good another nice clean tidy door card passenger seat lovely and tidy as is the carpet set this side and the dash it does have a alpine head unit fitted in it um, but we do have aircon as well which is nice <coughs> we'll uh, have a look in the in the front and then in the boot or where the engine is even um, and then we'll get it started up we'll check the roof things like that there we go so again all the plastics in here nice and clean the battery cover is still there all this post trimmed on the side still there which is always good we've got a set of the rear mats which we've just taken out when we've cleaned it uh, and part of the foam from the warning triangle i guess other than that all nice and tidy you've got your spare wheel in there with the tools all good underside of the bonnet's nice and tidy as well And then round to the back, you've got a 3.4 litre flat six engine. And again, with 911s, you can't see a whole lot in here, but it is nice and tidy. No sign of any fluids pouring out of it. It was parked up in the hole for a few hours and then overnight, and there's no sign of anything sort of dropped on the floor or anything like that, which is always good. We'll, uh, we'll get it started up. I'm going to point it backwards because obviously you want to check there's no smoke which straight away you can see nothing at all coming out we'll, uh, we'll drop the roof and check that all out so you've got electric switches here press and hold and release from the front we'll obviously drop your windows take the cover back and away it goes and then that cover will come forward Job done. Not quite finished that, we'll cut it a little bit short. There we go, obviously the light goes out. So there you have it, roof down. You can have a look around this area, it's all nice and clean and tidy. So there we go, 2001. Uh, 3.4 996 Carrera 2 Cabriolet. If you've got any questions please get in touch if you check the description we'll detail service history and what we know about the car of course you can come and have a look at it uh, or if you can't get to us give us a shout we can do video calls we can do extra photos videos whatever you might need just let us know thank you